Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from blank. My apologies, I didn't get your name, it just happens sometimes. This is a video from the PAF IAF War Axis. This one we think has a bias to the IAF. Now what we do is we do a one bias to IAF, one bias to PAF, one bias to IAF, one bias to Pakistan. So we we'll keep it 50-50 so that no one complains of us being biased. And this is a really weird one. Well, let me just read it out to you and let me show you why I've called it the IAF bias. The Indian claimed PAF denied, so just to say PAF denied this, this is India claimed this, which is, just makes it really weird, eight past Charlie mission. According to India claimed, one Pakistani B-57 bomber, which is a uh, Canberra, really good plane, uh, attack aircraft on Anbala Air Force, Air Base, sorry for the spelling, it's just how it is, he came in and dropped only one bomb, making a hit. They thought it was just a mechanical failure. So let's just sum that up. So but this plane carries eight 500 pound bombs, I believe. And all of the other cameras that came in from the PAF would have dropped all eight bombs in one run, as you'd expect, and then they'd turn around and drive back to Pakistan. OK, but this just dropped one. They thought it was a mechanical failure. He came in again to drop only one and another hit. Then he and he made a total of eight passes dropping one bomb on each pass with 100% accuracy which is unheard of you know bomber pilots just don't do that after that he came every day made eight passes and they were not able to get a single triple a shell on him and this is all from the indian side which is why we're biased at the indian side even though it's the indians that are getting hit it's good that they admit to this this is really cool i only find some newspaper pieces in pakistan one thing to remember According to the newspaper, the pilot turned off the engine when he goes in a dive and turn it on for the climb after the bombs have dropped. The reason is to make less noise, making it harder to detect at night. These strikes were all done at night by moonlight. Really interesting. So there's this guy, this camera pilot on his own, no one knows who he is, who dropped one bomb at a time with eight passes every day in the moonlight and never got shot. Crazy, right? Uh, we found some, put some bits of information. We've got Wikipedia there, uh, essentially just saying the same thing. We've got uh, another story here that we'll read through. Uh, this is actually a Pakistan Air Force camera. Look at that. Real picture. Wow. Well, I better use that picture. That's, that's awesome. A Pass Charlie was the code name of an unknown Pakistan Air Force B-57 bomber ace pilot who raided the Adampur airbase of the IAF in Indian Punjab a number of times during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1965, notably starting the series of raids on the base by a solo raid. He was codenamed Apas Charlie by his impressed Indian adversaries at the Adampur base as he used to make eight passes, one for each bomb, on selected targets with improving efficiency instead of safely dropping all bombs and going home. He is also known to have had expertise in disguising his attacks by confusing anti-aircraft gunners by cutting throttles before he entered the dive. One of eight past Charlie's confirmed kills was of a Indian Air Force MiG-21 on operational readiness platform ORP, which was about to take off when he executed the first raid of the Atempo Air Base at 2200 hours with his, so that's the time, 2200 hours, with his lone Canberra, uh, 6th of September 1965. Adampur's Air Base's runway was also damaged. In addition to his routine of making eight passes over Adampur, the unknown pilot also uh, seemed to have had a second routine of conducting his raids 30 minutes after moonrise. Maybe he was a werewolf or something. Paddy Earl, the IAF fighter pilot, paid tribute to the unknown ace by saying, I have the utmost respect for the Pakistan Canberra bloke who love to ruin the equanimity of our dreary lives. A Bars Charlie was an ace, but he had this nasty habit of turning up about 30 minutes after moonrise, just as we were downing our first drink. Seriously, he was a cool dude and a professional of the highest order. To disguise the direction of his run, he used to cut throttles before entering a dive, and by the time the ACAC opened up, he was beneath the umbrella of fire. After dropping his load, he'd apply full throttle and climb out above the umbrella. Many people have tried to decipher who this ace pilot was. The publication story of the PAF heroes in a way states that squadron leader Najib Khan could have been eight paths Charlie, although some IAF experts believe otherwise. The book Cold War Jet Combat, air-to-air -air jet fighter operations 1950-1970, also 
points towards the same possibility. Despite being mysteriously famous, no one has ever been able to find out his real identity. Internet and books are full of theories and rumours, and he high-handedly remains one of the most respected pilots. We can only admire his flying and bravery just as the IAF pilots did in those days. For days, he remained a nightmare and perhaps indirectly made us more vigilant. What a fascinating story. Let's go and see if we can do it. Welcome back, valued viewers. So what we have here is our airport, as described. Within the airport, we have eight times MiG-21s, which are preparing to scramble. And RC is going to come in as our mystery 8 pass Charlie and try and bomb those 8 MiG-21s. I mean, you can bomb other targets if you really want, but I'd suggest trying to bomb the 8 MiG-21s because they're the most valuable target. As 8 pass Charlie, rather than dropping all of your bombs in one ripple, you're going to do one bomb per pass. As you come in for the dive, you're going to cut your engines to idle, so you're going to create as less sound as possible. And my guys on the ground are going to try and shoot you down with the AAA. Any questions, RC? Might bring your B-57 camera in. I wish you all the luck, by which I mean I hope you get shot down. Okay, my lights are shining. Oh, The boys are firing. It's deathly silent. You hear that? There's no sound. Works. Boom! Missed! Ha ha ha! Sucker! Okay. We know eight past Charlie. We know the full moon's come out. It's 30 minutes past the full moon. We know eight past Charlie's going to come around again. It always comes for eight passes. The boys are firing. Bang, bang. I can see the explosions. Oh, yeah, I see him. Bam, 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 bam. Here comes B-57. Illuminate him, boys. Illuminate him. He's coming in silent again. Come on! Oh, we're really struggling to hit you. I mean, really struggling to hit you. Low caliber triple A is not firing for some reason, and that's annoying. Hey, bus Charlie, spot bomb out! No! Hit! Damn you! Right, that's it. I'm going old school. Okay, I'll see. Test fire. I think right. we did get a hit, but I. Where are you? Jester said we got a hit, but I don't. I don't no, well, that's a Jester problem. problem. Okay, cap, rifle, ba ba. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Right, in he comes, boys. And he comes. Now it's definitely a B 57. Get some. Give him the lead. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. You see my tracer. Get yeah. some. Ah, oh, no. Reloading. Boom. No, hit the MiGs. He, look, the MiGs have grown up. I hate a past Charlie so much. Come on, boys. We've got to get him. Uh -oh. He's destroying all of our... Go we got him. Have we got him? No. Uh. All right. I did get hit. I think so. Some flak. Good. Boys are homing in on you. Flying. Right. This time I'm going to wait until I see the whites of eight past Charlie's eyes. How many bombs have you done? Uh oh. Uh, yes! Ozzy stole the plane! We're in trouble. I got I lost an engine, but I'm still flying. Yes. Give it to him, boys. All the lead. He's struggling to control that biatch. He's going down. Look at the angle of attack. Oh, got some problems. Sweet! Settle up. Settle Happy up. Happy about that. Die. All right, I think I'm done. Yay! Good job, well, alive. Go. You can't bomb anymore. Well, a real camera wouldn't get hit like that. Okay, you skulk off back to Pakistan, RC. Okay, so how many? He's skulking off back off. How many um, guys did you hit? You hit one. They've literally just disappeared, so it's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Two. Three. Four. And four. Okay, you killed half of our QRF, or QRA, 
MiG-21s, which is very frustrating for the IAF. But we finally at least did send him packing. But it was a nasty little thing. That was 8 past Charlie. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. Celebratory fire.